Hey students, welcome to the video. Well, today's video is about the NCRT solution of a question. So this is from the chapter Understanding Quadrilaterals, Exercise 3.3, question number 12. So let's take a look. So the question is, find the measure of angle P and angle S. This is angle P and this is angle S. We have to find out their measures. If SP is parallel to RQ in the figure, this is SP and this is RQ. They are parallel in this figure. If you find measure of angle R, is there more than one method to find the measure of angle P? Well, this is the second part of the question. Let's first find out it. Let's first start with the first part of the question, which is to find out the measure of angle P and angle S if SP and RQ are parallel. Now, this is very simple. If this SP and RQ are parallel, we know one thing that this over here, this is a transversal which is intersecting these two parallel lines. So, this angle Q over here and this angle P over here, they are basically on the same side of the transversal, right? So, their sum would be 180 degree. So, angle P plus angle Q would be equals to 180 degree angles on the same side of transversal. And whenever it comes to geometry, we always have to mention the reason in the bracket, whatever we are using. So, angle Q is 130 degree. Let's substitute it here. From here, we can get the value of angle P. That's going to be 180 degrees minus 130 degrees, which is 50 degrees. So, I have the value of angle P from here. Now, I need the value of angle S from here. So, we know one thing that again, these lines are parallel. This is a transversal. So, these are also forming the angles on the same side of the transversal. Their sum would also be 180 degree. If this is 90 degree, because, because already we can see here the 90 degree symbol. So, what do we get from here? That's 90 degrees plus angle S equals to 180 degree. Now, it's very simple for us to find out the value of angle S from here. It's a simple equation, right? So, angle S is going to be equals to 180 degrees minus 90 degrees. That's 90 degrees. So, we have got the values of both the angle P as well as angle S from here. This is the first part of the question. In the next part, it says, if you find the measure of angle R, is there more than one method to find out the measure of angle P? What do you think? Yes, there is another method as well. So now let's take a look at the another alternative method. So what we can see here is that this PQRS, it's a four-sided figure. So obviously it's a quadrilateral and some of all the angles of a quadrilateral, we know that it is 360 degrees. Now this is 130 degrees. This over here, right? This over here, this is 90 degrees. We already know this, right? And angle R and angle S, we know that angles on the same side of the transversal, that's 180 degrees. This is what we discussed in the previous slide also. From here, we can say that if I add up all the angles over here, what this is going to be, because this is 90 degrees already. So obviously, this is also going to be 90 degrees. Let's add up all the angles. Their sum is going to be equal to 360 degree. From here, we can say that angle P plus 310 degree equal to 360 degree, which is going to be equals to 360 60 degree minus 310 degrees, that's going to be equals to 50 degrees. So this is the another way to find out the measure of angle P from here. All right, so do leave a comment for me how you like this video.